So if you guys are having difficulties, what I'm noticing as I'm walking around is a lot of you guys, your cast shadow um, and your sphere kind of blend into one. You want to make sure that your cast shadow is very dark right underneath your shape and that as it goes to the side, it kind of fades out a bit, okay? But it's very dark, especially right underneath. That'll show the difference between the shape and the shadow, okay? The next thing is that the core shadow that goes across here, it's almost in the shape of like a smiley face, okay? It curves around and goes up on the sides, like the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland, that smile that stays as he disappears. That's kind of the shape that we're going for, and that's how you start to make your sphere look round. If you just shade from side to side, and you never curve, it flattens the shape, and it doesn't look round. Okay, so that's a big deal. You want to make sure the highlight at the very top has no pencil. Okay, it's just paper. And then you slowly fade your pencil in, and you slowly fade down, and then at the bottom, it lightens back up just a little bit because you're showing that reflected highlight, okay? That's the light that goes past the shape to the table and then bounces back up onto the shape right there, all right? Now, I applied this using little circles, okay, like I taught you guys because I think it's the best way to do it. I know some people just really struggle with that. So the other way you can do it is you can apply your straight value, but if you do that, if you just apply it straight like this, what happens to the shape? It looks flat. Yeah, it starts to look really flat. That's right. So if you're going to apply value like that, you want to make sure that you're doing it round, okay? So it goes around the shape because that will help continue and make that shape look round. The other thing that I noticed, I'm not sure if I brought up, the cast shadow. You guys, it's like if you took a circle and you stretched it out into like a very stretched out oval. You want your cast shadow to touch the bottom of your sphere or whatever shape, and then you want it to just be a stretched out shape, okay? Um, I'm seeing a lot of them kind of looking too round. You want to stretch it out more. And those are just a couple of things that I've noticed as I'm walking around. You want to make sure your core shadow, you get to like a level five. Um, if you can. And your cast shadow down here, that would be a level 5-2 right underneath there. And then it would fade out maybe to like a 3. Okay, But you want it to be nice and dark and you want this area to be nice and dark and you want your highlight to be nice and light. So you have a huge difference in value from the highlight to the core shadow. Like a value 1 to a value 5 difference. Um, and the better you can show that, the more realistic and the more round your sphere is going to look the more three-dimensional any shape will look.